Welcome back to Easy Spirit 101. Um, I'm going to start out by asking you guys to be patient with me. Um, it's pretty late where I am right now and my throat's been at it for a while. But it is 100% full moon and I was thinking it's a great time to do a full moon reading and what I've started with here is um, I'm starting out with a bit of advice for someone whoever this is for and what we have here is someone taking a leap of faith someone is someone is trying to follow their heart they are taking a risk um, staying focused this person is already pretty focused on what this is that they're they're wanting to put their put what they feel in their heart this may even be part of a a higher calling um, yeah divine knowledge helping others through spiritual teaching this situation might be in regards to some sort of higher calling um, there's very focused intention here and for those of you who feel like you know you've got the focused intention but you start to waver it's also a reminder to to get redirect right back on track and um, stay strong through what you're going through right now because your strength is going to assure that you get the outcome that you're hoping for and the other message here is um to honor the flow there's there's a flow to this situation here that has to be it has to be honored you can't you can't force it forward and you can't slow it down just saw two 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 on the clock um, that's probably a message for some of you. Two, two, two. The twos for me are often about teamwork. And it can be teamwork with another person. It can be teamwork with those around you. It can be teamwork with spirit. It can be an important relationship coming forward in your life. Just all 244. Easy does it. So take it easy and honor the cycles that are happening in this situation so full moons are a great time to let go of things that aren't serving you or just letting go of things in general thinking of things that you want to let go of that can be physically that can be mentally it can be a, you know a part of your personality that you don't think is serving you anymore I'm going to use this um, yin yang here and see what does someone need to know right now. It can be divine feminine, divine masculine. What do you need to let go of? What do you need to let go of right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. I know you're not going to want to hear that, but what I'm getting is actually a double message. There's a feminine that needs to let go of a toxic masculine. And there's also a masculine that needs to let go of toxic patterns. There's also an energy of doubt or insecurity here. Someone's living in a lack mentality. Someone feels, you know, like it's not going to work out. Um, they don't have enough. They're not enough. Whatever it is, this is something that needs to let go. You need to let go of that. I'm really picking up on um, a message from masculine here.
And then there's an unwillingness to change. That's the other thing that needs to be let go of. There's, there's change required here. Um, really, change is, change is necessary. Um, if you're trying to progress in your life, think about it like if you don't like where you are right now, how are you going to get to where you're going without making some sort of changes? Let's see if there's something else. Some issues, especially toxic issues with the communication card coming out underneath toxicity. There's some toxicity around communication. There's a person here that because they feel you may be um, earth sign here, could be, there's also an opportunity for a new beginning at hand. Obviously, um, when you let go of things, new beginnings come in. Also, you can have heavy Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy in your chart or sun, moon, rising so someone here keeps themselves very guarded. They, their um, emotions are a bit, like too vulnerable for them. But the issue is here, it ends up being lots of projections. Then you're projecting your pain and your discomfort and your lack and your insecurity on other people. So... Let's see what else, okay? This is a full moon reading. I'm sorry if it is a trigger warning for anyone. <laughs> like, again, I said a lot of times, I mean, more, more divine masculines are watching. Um, that, is, that is great. There's still really a huge volume of um, divine feminines that watch. Acceptance. This is about practicing acceptance here. I am learning to accept things that I cannot change. Okay, you can't change the past. You can't change how it happened. You can't change, um, you know, your childhood, whatever it is, but you can accept it and you can make positive changes and let go of um, toxicity. I'm really getting something about the way a person speaks here. Um, with that being said, I want to go ahead and point out, of course, a lot of you know, but the more it becomes important to me, the more... Um, I know with my distraction. I just saw that and I had to point it out. I don't know why, but I feel like someone here in this situation is dealing with feelings of loneliness. Um, and it makes this, these projections more intense, the way they treat others. But, you know, we all have the capability of becoming the person we want to become. There's no need to sit there and, and be upset with someone else for whatever reason. When, if you like something you see in another person and you want to have that in your own life, there's no reason why you can't start taking baby steps to get there. Because everybody is capable of these things. So as I was saying earlier, when we were talking about this toxicity pattern with communication here, um, your words are very, very powerful. I know we hear that a lot with, with law of attraction. It's probably more powerful than you realize. You know, the more positively you're speaking regularly, which in some cases, you know, 
some of us grew up in a home where people spoke very negatively and discouraging and whatever it is. Um, and it's difficult, but you can retrain yourself to speak in a more positive manner more often. I'm not saying, um, you know, that things don't get tough and people don't get upset, but there is a point to looking on a bright side. There is a point to being the bright side. <laughs> I have no shame in encouraging everyone who might be watching to be something bright in someone else's life. Denial. There's something here with this card about fear. This person, this is someone here who's got a lot of fear within them, but they kind of, I see them covering it up. So, I mean, obviously, that's something to let go of, fear. Whatever fears you have moving forward in this situation, again, you are stronger than you think you are. You're stronger than you think you are, okay? So whatever fears, it's a good time to go ahead and take a look at your fears and then just kind of be like, you know what? I don't need you here anymore. Especially if your fear is discouraging you from making positive changes in your life that you hope to have and blame. Someone here spends a lot of time blaming other people for, for their own discomforts, which is right, you know, goes along with this projections part. Projection is, you know, you see it, you see things a certain way, but what you really is, you know, you, you might be telling someone, hey, you're like this, but really it's you that are, that's like that. And you're seeing yourself in them and sometimes not. Some people are not seeing their self in them and they, they just, um, they want to be, <laughs> they want it to be you and not, not you. Um, Whoever, someone here in this situation here, some masculine energy here, um, self-esteem issues are blocking you as well. Obviously, there's kind of a lot of heavy, heavy energy here that needs to be released. So the self-esteem issues are not surprising. Um, so that's something to work on. I get a few from here and then try to end it quicker than I normally do. All right, what else? What else, Spirit? What do we need to let go of, please? What do we need to let go of? I just heard blame again. They're calling out to me. This Someone here really spends a lot of time blaming other people. I mean, I'm going to come out and say that if you're wanting some sort of great positive change in your life, um, blame is like a negative. You know, remember we say when you're manifesting, you manifest from a positive place. That means the less negative feelings and energies you have in a way, the better. And that includes feeling blame towards other people. I think someone here is avoiding, someone's avoiding their life purpose. So it's a good time. I'm also getting to with the entrapment card to beware of the other people around you. They might not always have your highest good, your highest um, intentions in mind. So 
that's another thing. If you've got people around you like that, it's going to be hard to move forward. This goes along with this life purpose. It's time to start finding the people that you know on a heart, on a soul level that you really resonate with. And that goes along. That's going to help you as you move closer towards your life purpose. I'm also getting that family is really important for this person. Don't let pride get in your way. Right. Surrender. That's kind of what we were talking about in the beginning with the flow of the cycle here. Surrender to what's happening right now. Let go and let God a little bit. What do you need to release? You need to release something. Clearly, you need to release quite a lot of things. We just... We just got clarity on that. And this, this fear here, someone fears that maybe moving forward that their family or somebody is not, not safe or not going in a safe direction. This card is saying you and your loved ones will be safe. Everything is going to be okay. Everyone involved is, is going, yeah. This issue is going to re reach resolution, especially if you work on letting go of these toxic traits here. I mean, I'm just going to come out and say it. Not everybody's going to like this message, and that's okay. Um, when you are manifesting with with the divine when you are manifesting with god i mean that's you can even use the bible as a reference all right and then there's a lot of things in the bible that talk about you know how negativity is going to block you even the way you speak it even talks about how you pray how you believe in what you're praying Believe that it will be yours. How you don't need to be afraid. All of those things are there. Yes, keep trusting your heart and trusting your intuition in this situation. I am too getting earlier with that, that life purpose card. Yeah, th this came out last time. Speak your truth, peaceful warrior. You can say what you need to say in a peaceful way. And also, it's about not being afraid. I think in this last reading this came out, there was something there that was not being said. Um, so there's also no need to, to fear saying the truth about something. And I am getting this situation involves someone moving towards their life purpose. Honor your feelings. And it could be that you're right there in these, these little blocks that are in here, like the lack and the toxic behaviors or, or toxic behaviors around how you speak. Speak to yourself. Speak to others. Once you get really serious about manifesting in your life, you clean that up. I mean, with like tweezers, you start picking it out. And I'm not kidding. After you do, you start watching your whole world change. So 
so that's why it's very important it's very important to um kind of break old habits Yeah, here's that self-esteem issue again. Love and accept yourself. There's no reason not to. It's only going to make things better. You are an earth angel here. Meant to spread kind of a peaceful, again, with this right next to this peaceful warrior. And the peace and harmony, there's something about your energy here that is very powerful very needed this is divinely guided you may even be seeing like hawks or eagles any kind of thing like that you may have a close connection with um native american spirits or shamans you can trust the signs you are getting the signs and you know it <laughs> it says it earlier trust Trust this. Trust the signs. Keep following them and keep working on yourself. Someone's saying take a break from work here and focus on having a light. A light and innocent energy can help you move forward, can help um, maybe spend some time reflecting on some of that heavy energy that needs to be released. Um, finding your true joy inside of yourself. Once you really find that joy inside of yourself, the joy and the peace, no one can take it from you. No one in no situation can take it from you. Let's see if I can get one more. Yeah, go for it. Whatever that says, go for it. That says, you know, these changes you're afraid or worried about with the fear, whatever fears are coming up in this situation big time. Um, that's part of why, you know, fear surrounding not being good enough, all of those things. Fear of rejection, fear of whatever it is, they're saying just go for it, um, especially if you already are getting signs that you know this is about your divine path. Yeah, assertiveness on the bottom. This is about being assertive right now with the situation at hand. So um, that's definitely, I hope y'all got something out of this full moon let go of something heavy kind of uh energy reading and have a good one